why would I buy this box? Well, I tell you why. That's why. <laughs> There's a display in there that I want to have. Oh, that was easy. So I have to take this apart to get to the display. Then I'm gonna throw away this box. Yeah! Let's try this one again. Nope! Nope! Let's try the other one. Okay, this is seriously annoying. I will try to just rip this out. Okay. That's a no. Yay! It's a step in the right direction. That's the part of my desire. Shiny. This is connected with a 2mm pin header, 6 pins, and there is some code on the interwebs. When I showed this project to my dad, he was like, hey, wait a second, I got something in the drawer. So when he got back to me, he was showing me this. Okay, so the display runs on 3.3 volt as well. I checked and it was glowing until 2.9 volts. So that's pretty cool for almost every project you can think of. Ready? Go. So the code I found is pulsating the display. This is not a bug, this is a feature. And I've put in two special characters. Yeah, well, they're not special. You can easily control every dot on the display. So it's not like you send an ASCII character and it just shows it. You really have to program the characters. This is the one that my dad found. Now I'm gonna check the other one if it still works. Don't explode. Please. Woohoo! So shy. Okay, yeah, this one is a bit diffuse because I tried to clean up the the rest of the, uh, I don't know, it was like taped with electric tape. My dad put this in place because he wanted to protect the display because he was putting it in a drawer, so that makes sense. But the glue got all yucky and I tried to clean it up with some, um, what's the name of it? With some acetone, so... <laughs> Yeah, always check if your plastic melts when when it gets in contact with acetone because yeah, it really sucks if your all your display is like blurred out. This one, well, not this one, but the whole box was one euro on eBay or five euros shipping. So comparing this to the display from the project on Hackaday, the display new would be around. 22 euros or so. So this cost me about 6 euros. This nothing. <laughs> I will give this back to my dad. In comparison it's like I bought a box for 7 euros where this display is in and I could have paid 22. I get another box in one or two days and I'm betting and bidding on two or three others. Well as soon as somebody sees it and thinks that makes sense to buy a whole box to get the display out of it for seven euros. If you think there's anything else interesting in, in a D-Box one, please let me know. I'm not gonna throw away the whole box right now. This would be another script running on the display. Thanks for watching and goodbye.